Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we have the GP data download, which is going to give us the next celebration, the next Dokkan Fest. Um, Dokkan Fest Super Trunks, who certainly is good, but um, there's pros and cons to this character. Um, I, I think he's one of these units who, you know, it, things can go like kind of like a perfect way and he'll be perfect. Or if one bad thing happens and your entire run can die. That, that's the way this character is going to be. Um, we have the banning unit Gohan, who is worse than... Well, I mean, he's terrible. I mean, Frost is probably better, right? I don't know. Uh, but Gohan is just our latest trash banner unit, which is unfortunate. I I mean, they... Dokkan releases being good or bad a lot of times can hinge directly just on, like, these characters, right? Like, uh, Dokkan Fest Turles, you know, he, he could be very runnable with his Amandan Raisin, but if Amandan Raisin didn't show up, um, uh, might not have been too good, you know, just saying. Um, so we have that. Um, there's the two EZAs. Super Vegeta is probably, like, okay-ish burst mode type character. This Vegeta, I think, is solid. And then Mecha Freeze and King Cold, they suck ass. All right, so we have Mecha Freeze and King Cold. We got the Trunks movie. Um, we got uh, the OST for Trunks' active skill. Uh, weekend tickets return. Okay, sure. Um, the Vegeta is weak to sworn enemies. WW. Uh, there's a new support memory. I believe there's a new Dragon Ball story for the Baby Saga. Why this wasn't during the Baby, like, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, like, celebration, I, I couldn't tell you. Um, no one, you know, it doesn't really make a ton of sense. I mean, the Tanabata celebration was good, though, so. Uh, this, of course, is Bread's first kiss, you know, Pan's first kiss. Uh, for the first two turns, uh, Bond of Friendship category characters get 10% attack and defense. It's decent. You know, if you're going to do, like, a Super Battle Road stage or something like that, this, you know, could be useful. Um, not a trash, uh, support memory, so that's good. Uh, now, there's missions, and there's a new type of mission. Uh, we're on a Trunks team at any of these stages a bunch of times. Uh, so we, we we will see what these are. Like, use... So, like, obviously, this is a Cell Saga Trunks. They want us to use, like, teen Trunkses in Cell Saga events. We'll, we'll see what that looks like. Um, seems a little bizarre. Why don't I... Can, let me just quickly look if I can't see this. Yeah, I, I found these right here. Um, so take a, a Teen Trunks and go into the story event and beat stages. Interesting. So, so this is a new way they want to do missions. Yep, there's a Trunks, Trunks, Trunks. Just go into a bunch of stages and do that. Okay. I assume a lot of the times when they have these types of missions, um, they are going to make sure that it's like, you know, not like, I don't know. It, when, when they drop Dokkan Fest LR Beast Gohan, right, they want to make sure that it's not like, okay, well, we better pull the Dokkan Fest LR to do those missions. Uh, kind of interesting. I don't know. I mean, I certainly, I think they certainly could have made this a little bit more fun, right? Like, they're telling us, hey, go jump into, like, these story events. Why not? Oh, I don't know. Red Zone? <laughs> we could do that. That could be certainly fun. I think that would be actually a little bit intriguing. Um, and I think that pretty much covers that there. Um, let's go and take a look at Proton's threads. So we've got the promo movie. We have the new Dokkan Fest Trunks. We got the Gohan, the EZA for Mecha Freeze and King Cold. Uh, Super Trunks Dokkan event. Um, that's good. Super Trunks does get one. I've been, you know, talking about Super Trunks, I think, needing a Dokkan event. I got no problem with that. Uh, Baby Saga Dragon Ball Story. Uh, we have the EZA for Transforming Vegeta and his sub-EZA character gets an EZA right away. Uh, new Battlefield. Support memory and future EZAs. Yeah, I saw that. I think it's future Android 17 and 18 um, are going to be getting uh, sub-EZAs, it looks like. So there's a promo movie. Uh, Trunks. So, Trunksu. How do I talk about this? Um, there's a couple of problems with Trunks. He starts off, I would say, pretty weak. Um, I don't think that Trunks is really that spectacular at the start. Um, in order for Trunks to be very effective, um, you have to be running three... Android slash Cell Saga characters on the team. Um, and the, Trunks is almost worthless if you don't have that. Because he gets the high chance to guard, guaranteed additional, and an extra 100% of stats. This guy needs to attack five turns, and he will auto-transform into Super Trunks. If you don't have this built-in additional, it, it, it could be real tricky to transform into this guy. I really wish... I mean, man, I... 
if the additional was not tied to that restriction, I think this Trunks would be way better. Because Super Trunks himself is very dominant, and he does not need Antrocess Cell Sog units. This guy doesn't. Um, but this guy's for his first three turns, he's doing guaranteed crits. He has gar or, uh, he's doing guaranteed additional supers. He has guaranteed guard. He's getting the huge stats. I mean, if you do his active skill, you're getting guaranteed crits, and it's a ghost usher, right? He has an attack break on his active skill, which you could use prior to his transformation. He he can do the same active skill, but there's a slightly different animation. One for when he's in Super Saiyan form. One for when he's in Super Trunks form. The Super Saiyan form gives you an attack break. The Super Super Trunks form gives you an actual Ghost Usher, like PyCon. So, I do think Super Trunks is good. His leader skill is dog-awful. It's horrible. I don't think his team is very good. Um, his team is where he himself will be at his best, though, because it's another three Android Sassel Saga units, which the friend Trunks would qualify for that. So, you do the friend Trunks, you do AJL LR Gohan, and then you have one more character that you could bring onto the team, right? Wh whichever one you decide to go with. So there is that you could do. Um, again, I like he is good, but I, I mean he's he's difficult to judge because it's like I, I see people like discount some of these things. Like okay, at the start of the fight, you fail Trunks' coin flip and he gets one shot, right? And well, people will say, oh well, it doesn't really matter too much. Well, then nothing, literally nothing at all matters ever in this game. Like, nothing matters. It matters. Every character is exactly the same. Like, if you lose because he's weak at the start, that is a negative for the character. It's not just as simple as waving it off. Like, it's a weakness. It's the thing with the 8th anniversary Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. For a while, a lot of people pretended like that didn't happen. Then people went way too far and acted like that character was, like, barely even top 10. Right? You have to be able to take a healthy mix of understanding what these characters' abilities are across a lot of events, what you're likely to see happen with their abilities, what you're not likely to see, right? Like, you, you want to try and judge these things to determine how good these characters are. Um, Trunks himself, when you're in Super Trunks form, I mean, there's this guy right here, he's equivalent to, like, God Mode, like, 23rd World Tournament Goku. Like, he's kind of on that level. But, you know, he only gives you the God Mode for the first three turns, so it's essentially his first two turns rotations um and then what you could do is you could do that you have your first rotation two rotations where you do this and then you could pop your active skill like that i mean that even against omega shenron the hardest fight in the game the new fight in the game that is pretty long um you know two turns of this guy followed by the ghost usher and that should be the end of the fight right like i you wouldn't need more than three turns in super chunks form for sure so here's super chunks uh, and then, of course, again, Super Trunks right there. So this is his SSR. Um, art looks pretty good. At Trunks looks really good. Like, Android has Cell Saga Trunks. Like, he looks cool. Like, I like that look of Trunks right there. Then, of course, there's the Super Trunks form. Uh, then we get Time Chamber Gohan. I mean, this has got to be, like, the nastiest bullshit. I mean, they could have given us. I, dude, this pisses me off so much. I this This is exactly the thing. So they give us this garbage, right, where it's like... Um, we need three Android slash Cell Saga units for Trunks, and then they give us mid shit along with it, right? They give us this guy who, I mean, he basically is terrible. Um, and then there's also like the Super Vegeta who's not crazy, right? Like these are huge negative detriments to Trunks. And that could be the difference between a great Dokkan Fest and a good Dokkan Fest. A great Dokkan Fest, you know, if we could run his team and it wasn't, oops, we lose, you know, that's better. I mean, people know with Omega Shenron, right? Omega Shenron is very good, very powerful, but then the team around him is dying and crumbling to pieces, right? Um, this can happen for sure for Trunks. So this character, I, one thing I want to point out is his stats. People talk a lot about his stats. This is the ideal stat spread right here. Defense does not matter. Attack does not matter. The, what your character's attack stat is, is mostly all predicated by all this, right? Like, you could have a, a 10,000 attack stat and be the hardest hitting unit in the game. That doesn't really matter. Same with defense. It's all predicated by what's going on up here. You know, super attack effects, passive, and stuff like that. This is the only stat that truly matters right now. Because, again, you don't, like, that's nothing to do with pass or anything like that. Having a huge HP team is really good. So I love this, but... But they made this guy not good, right? Like, I do like that he's a support, but he's only giving key and defense. Sure, um, he's, you know, no guard. 
No defensive stacking. This is a really weak defensive character. Like, really weak. Really weak. And they want him to get hit. Like, it's just, it's clown show. Like, this, this Gohan is absolute trash. Again, Frost is probably better than this guy. You know, Jiro and Mew are, are probably better than him. Like, I don't know. I, I, I'm I sorry. I don't know. I don't know the answer. I don't have the answer. Uh, we got Mecha Freeze and King Cold. I mean, we could quickly look at them. I think that this unit looks pretty mid as well. I mean, this is an Android Sass Cell Saga buff, which potentially could help Trunks. But I I mean, I, you're probably not just going to run this character randomly anyway. Um, so their leader skill, Wicked Bloodline category, key three, hundred percent of stats, pointless, doesn't matter anyway, what leader skills are. 12 key super attack effect, 30% attack and defense, colossal damage lowers attack. And then 18 key super attack, 30% defense, mega colossal damage, and then extreme class allies attack by 35% for two turns. Pretty good. I, I like that. A two turn buff with that is really solid. And then they're getting defense and both super attack effect. So that looks pretty good. But I mean, then you get to a passive two key, 120% attack and defense. Sure. They get 30% attack and defense per Wicked Bloodline category, allowing the team up to extra 90%. So, I mean, you only need two other Wicked Bloodline units for them to get the full buff right there. Uh, then they get 30% defense when attacking. We like that. Wicked Bloodline category allies get one key and 30% attack. And then all allies get one key and 50% defense when all allies are Wicked Bloodline category characters. I mean, you, you're you this is going to be a Wicked Bloodline unit you use anyway. So, like, these restrictions aren't a big deal. Um, and then finally, nine key and a guaranteed additional super if there's a Super Saiyans category enemy. I think this character would have been completely good as is. They just needed one more thing. I think if the whole team is Wicked Bloodline, so like, you know, write it as six other Wicked Bloodline characters besides this unit or something like that, and they guard or 50% damage reduction or something like that. And then you'd have a floating support type character that would be a buff to Wicked Bloodline, which would be good, right? We need villain buffs. You know, they could fumble, you know, I, I mean, Gohan would have been important just because Trunks has this new restriction, which it, it's it's even for super class characters, it's tough for that restriction, right? But like, these are the types of characters that Dokkan fumbling is actually really bad. Because, like, this is the type of thing I could really help bring together, uh, like, the villain teams, right? Like, if this was a competent character you could run on Wicked Bloodline, that would be fantastic. But I just don't think that they are competent. Uh, Toughest Nails, Universal Swivalence, um, what is that? Brutal Beatdown, uh, Thirst for Conquest, Strongest Clan in Space, Fear and Faith, and Legendary Power. So, uh... You know, uh, uh, I'm not really too crazy about them. Uh, Super Trunks has his Dokkan event, which is awesome. I'm glad he gets one. Uh, we have the new Dragon Ball GT Baby Saga Dragon Ball story right here. Um, looks like there is eight stages. Yeah, and this goes... Oh, Jesus, dude. Look, look at this labyrinth. What the hell? They don't typically do this anymore. Okay. Um, so th this goes up until uh, Baby presumably kills Goku, right? That, that, that's that's how long this story event goes for. Um, sure, sure. Um, then this is a movie that plays in it. Okay. That's the only one? No. Oh, my God. That's the only movie in there is the support memory. That sucks. Uh, then, of course, there's Easy Vegeta. He is weak to the sworn enemy category. Um, now, this blue Vegeta, I mean, how, how do I rank him? I think he's okay. I, I feel like I was actually a little bit underwhelmed. When I saw kind of like his start of turn defensive stats and stuff like that. Like it does make me a little concerned that like turn one, you know, even if you get the seven key spheres and like he double supers and then double greatly stacks defense and he still would get walloped, which is kind of a, a problem, I think. Um, by the time you get, you know, he just slowly gets better and he, he stacks defense every single time. I think he's good in blue, but I mean, it is going to take a while to get to blue he is going to be good here, but again, it, it's it's going to take a little while. I'm not sure. I think that this guy is okay. Probably. He's okay. Um, I probably will give this guy full additional. Like, try and get him to, like, 30 additional or something like that. And it's like, you know, if you get a lot of turns where he's stacking, he can be good. But I, I don't know. I, I mean, I want to see this blue Vegeta going up against, like, Omega and stuff like that. You know, maybe do, like, a run or two. Like, do we get caught? Because my concern is we'd be on, like, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta right here. 
And we both going up against STR Omega, and he would do an AoE, and Vegeta takes 300k damage from an AoE, right? Well, it's like, well, I guess I would not want to run this character in there then, right? Like, that's it's kind of an issue. Um, I do like his orb changing and stuff like that, but, I mean, it's... I, I'm not sure. I want more time. I'm, you know, we're going to do the full world tour, and I'll be able to judge, I think, a little bit better. Let me just more... Let me see more situations occur and how he might tank some stuff. Uh, new Battlefield is coming, which, you know, is cool. Um, again, that that's how we're able to EZA Mecha Freeze and King Cold. Um, they, of course, are a Battlefield EZA, which is fine. Uh, they recently, I feel like I've really begun to accumulate a huge amount of Battlefield currency, which is awesome. Um, they have upped the amount you get, and I feel like for the first time ever, like literally for the first time ever in Battlefield, the current iteration of Battlefield started in 2018. Now, five years later, I feel like I'm in front actually. Like, I'm going to be able to EZA these guys, and I'm going to be able to rainbow Hatchiak as soon as we can, right? So, there's several Battlefield characters. Android 18, Krillin, the Super Saiyan 2 Goku, and Macho and Vegeta. I've never rainbowed. I pr I think pretty soon I will actually be able to rainbow them, which is good. Uh, here, of course, is uh, Pan's First Kiss, uh, which is the two-turn buff to uh, Bond of Friendship, which is good. I, I mean, this, not the craziest support memory ever, but this is usable. You could find a spot to use that, so I like that. And I do love support memories. I think the animations are cool. Uh, now, this is this is something uh, Global Dokkan has done several times, where they sort of accidentally put in the stickers early. They did that here on JP. So these guys are going to get their sub-EZA from physical future Gohan's EZA. Um, so that'll be good. I mean, Android buffs and stuff like that. Future buffs. You know, maybe Future Saga. We move it into a Vegito Blue celebration. Who knows, right? Uh, new area map. Is this quest mode? Interesting. This looks like quest mode to me. Like, this is going to be like a quest mode area? Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, some scripted events for Trunks. This, of course, is from the Dokkan event right here. Sure. Uh, and then these new uh, assets. These are from the Dragon Ball story. The Baby Saga Dragon Ball story. Okay. I believe that there is a new one in here that is, like, completely brand new. I don't think previously in any of these... Uh, uh, like, story events or anything like that she was in here. But, yeah, uh, Baby Possessed Bra... No, this is regular... Yeah, Baby Possessed Bra right here. I think that this... This would be an incredible... So, uh, we typically, in August, get a huge bunch of Peppy Gal units. We get Peppy Gal EZAs. They drop a double rates banner with Peppy Gal units. It happens every year. I think, dude, this would be so good. Ba uh, baby Possessed Bra would be a fire... I think, like, really strong character. Because this... They often do make these Peppy Gal, Peppy Gal characters pretty good. So, I mean, this would be a nice villain buff. Let me just quickly take a look. Just refresh myself. The baby-possessed hybrid Saiyans. I know that they're still on, like, hybrid Saiyans and stuff like that. But let me go ahead and take a look at, like, what categories. Let's pull up, like, the Super Saiyan Gohan. Um, so, like, what, what categories do these guys get? They're not on GT bosses. That would be good. Um, they are on terrifying conquerors, dude. They could give us baby possessed bra, who would be like a monster on terrifying conquerors. They could do that. That would be pretty sick. I would, I would love that. So yeah, th here we go. We're hoping to get baby possessed bra. They could do baby possessed Videl as well. That would be. I think that would be really good actually. Uh, to set up because I mean we're kind of seems like maybe they're setting up. GT bosses, but then again, now they dropped Super 17, so we need help for Super 17. They dropped LR Super Boo, we need help and characters for LR Super Boo. They dropped Dokkan Fest Kale, we need Universe 6 units to help Dokkan Fest Kale. They dropped Turles, I really would like some Terrifying Conquer help to help out Turles. And then they drop Omega Shenron, and I'd really like some GT bosses to help Omega Shenron. And then they drop goddamn Trunks, and I'd really like some Antros Fest Cell Saga options to help Trunks. So, I mean, the thing is, if they keep doing this, eventually they're going to back themselves into the corner where no matter what they do, they are going to buff one of these characters, right? So that's good. That's good. I mean, they've literally, it's like, if we get a Universe 6, a Majin Buu character, um, uh, like an Android character, a uh, GT Bosses character, like any of those, and we're buffing a pre-existing major release from this year that needs help. So that's good. So again, Omatsu is trying his best to screw over every single character they ever release, but unfortunately for him, he's backing himself into a corner. Pretty soon, no matter what he does, he's going to buff these characters, right? Whether he wants to or not. So we're closing in.
And then that that is the end of it right there. So there is the JP data download. Seems pretty solid. Um, again, remember, things might get... It, it, this is kind of... We're about to move into the lull before the storm. Global still has some fire left. The, uh, there actually was a global data download. I'll do a video on that as well. But the fifth anniversary blue fusions are coming. Um, so, like, Global is going to be completely, for, like, a week straight, everyone is going to be cackling as they dominate the whole game with the Blue Fusions. They are so much fun. Um, and then we'll kind of get a little bit of a lull. Uh, Global will move into Dokkan Fest Kale Celebration, and then JP will have the Peppy Gal stuff, and then... <sighs> worldwide. Now, I would also like to remind you guys, the past couple of years, Dokkan themselves has teased, we will know what the worldwide theme is, in this two-week span. So we are two weeks away from knowing what the theme is going to be. Is it going to be superhero? Is it going to be future saga? Is it going to be Broly movie? Is it going to be, you know, Cell saga for Super Saiyan 2 Gohan? Right? Like, we'll know soon enough what the theme is going to be. So let me know what you guys think of Dokkan Fest Super Trunks. Um, I think Super Trunks is a great pick for a Dokkan Fest. Um, I think that get, him getting a Dokkan event is awesome. And at least... Even though he's got some weirdness to him, at the end of the day, you transform into Super Trunks right here, and he is going to dominate. So it will, no matter what, it's always going to be fun the second this guy comes out, which is going to be awesome. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.